Energy Multiplying Adapter Plate, or the Ugani device. I invented a revolutionary new device that will make electric vehicles more desirable, like what Tesla car did for the electric vehicle. I created a device that is location specific for both fossil fuel and electric vehicle. And what it does is that it will extend the vehicle's range, increase its power and acceleration, and extend the battery life of the electric vehicle. The EMAP is a mechanical device that will change our paradigm. My device sets precedency on multiplying the power of energy received, creating the power design. Hi, I'm Yusuf Mali from Cape Town, South Africa, innovator and inventor of the EMAP, the Energy Multiplying Adapter Plate. My device is the golden goose that will lay a thousand golden eggs. My device is both manufacturer and location specific. You need the creativity and imagination to conceive and understand my vision and my idea in its entirety. Think of my device as a magical instrument that multiplies the output RPM of the motor without increasing the speed of the motor. This increased speed is transferred to the gearbox. So all I did was just increase the speed of the motor before it reaches the gearbox. Doing this, we're lowering the motor's output RPM needed to achieve the same traveling speed. This will reduce fossil fuel as less energy is required from the motor to achieve the same traveling speed. This will allow less wearing tea, longer traveling time, increased speed, and depending on the type of application, the speed will be exponential. This device is so awesome. Currently, in order to modify the speed of a vehicle, engineers and mechanics have to modify the RPM of the vehicle by expensive modifications in engineering or injecting dangerous high-octane gas like NOS to achieve the desired power output to the gearbox. But this is extremely expensive and very, very dangerous. With this device, a standard unmodified motor, which is original, manufacturer-specific, stock standard, fitted with my device, will outrun, outperform, and outlast heavily modified versions in the same engine capacity or higher. Because remember, when you modify the motor, it's no more standard. So you have actually cancelled out the manufacturer's warranty on the motor. The guarantee is gone. And when that happens, there's a, there's a great possibility the, mo the motor might blow. Now that is what happens in most cases. Now with my device, in a racing cars, will not only set new land speed records, but it will do so with a less powerful motor and no modification. The intention is not just to start a small business creating a single device, employing a large number of unemployed South Africans, creating a new revenue stream, making millions of dollars in foreign trade. But what I want to do is create and leave a positive legacy. Creating a sustainable electric vehicle that will become a credible alternative, a solution to fossil fuel. This device will offer this. What it will do to make the electric vehicle, our current electric vehicles, much more faster. Battery charge lasting much more longer. This will not only increase the desire to own an electric vehicle, by making electric vehicles not just economical and practical, but more versatile than the fossil fuel vehicle is. Because you don't have to spend exorbitant amount of fossil fuel petrol. This opportunity will allow me to grow my invention empire to immense proportion. Boy oh boy, this, my invention, is an investment of a lifetime. This device will do to transport what Google did to the internet. Reinventing the way we create and use energy. Think of it this way. Presently an electric vehicle only travels 300 or 600 kilometers on one single charge. But this is a problem. But this will be the problem of the past, even though it's a problem now. Using my multi same multiplication factor of 1 is to 2.5 throughout the entire motor output range will be making the e-vehicle really and truly awesome. For example, it extends the travel range from 300 kilometers multiplied by 2.5 gives you a distance of 700 and 50 kilometers or a vehicle distance of 600 kilometers previously with this device of multiplying it by 2.5 increases the traveling distance to 1500 kilometers 
Wow! That is now staggering propulsion multiplication. An electric vehicle that will travel the entire distance of the Western Cape province in South Africa and further on a single charge. And just remember, I'm multiplying the, our complete output range by 2.5. So if it had a top speed of 100 kilometers previously, multiplying it by 2.5 automatically will give you 250 kilometers per hour. Now that is mind-boggling. Free energy, propulsion speed. Create something that was never available or thought of before. Now I want to exploit that market. This is my invention. Multiplying the energy received to create the energy desired. As you can see, I'm a very passionate person. I've been so all my life. Filled with the compassion, selflessness, and integrity to create and stand up for peace and justice. I built my own transport company as an owner driver with this passion. With eight years exceptionally good service delivery to one of Cape Town's biggest beverage companies, I helped build that company grow from strength to strength with hard work, honesty, filled with motivation and inspiration to succeed in being the best at what I was asked to do. With firm leadership and delegating my workers and personnel to achieve efficient and effective service that was required to complete my daily set tasks. I set new standards of our operation that became the benchmark in that company's service delivery. Now my proposed business producing and manufacturing email is not even as stressful as this. But calamity occurred and I had a double accident. I was disabled and I needed a spinal operation in April 2011. The accident changed my life with two years bed rest, convalescing, thinking and contemplating what to do. I could not return back to work as I was denied future employment due to my pain and ill health. So I returned back to one of my ideas I had 10 years ago, my AC propulsion system project. I started with the project five years ago before the accident, but when the accident happened, everything stagnated. I was two years bedridden. I could not move. I could not do anything. The pain was excessive. I could, the pain did not allow me to do anything else. But this time period allowed me to become more focused on my purpose, more than my goal. My goal to create my new type of propulsion system. My purpose is to provide a service to enrich humanity with the wisdom I gain by inventing a positive change to our paradigm. I am now more eager to make a difference in the world, creating more elaborate and more fanciful fossil fuel free energy sources and propulsion systems. I want to bring positive change by being the example and inventor of positive change. This is my drive, the passion and the leadership quality to tackle on this new venture in my life and make it successful. I've already created my prototype without any assistance, but this is not all that I have to offer. With much more elaborate innovations and inventions in the pipeline, I need the investment capital to create, produce and supply my intended market. There is a need for this device in the transport industry right now more than ever with the outrageously high fuel costs. So even though there is no demand for my specific device yet, I will create my own market with the production of this device in several variations for light to heavy duty electric vehicles, from light to heavy duty fossil fuel vehicles and from light to heavy duty AC propulsion system. I'll be reducing fuel emissions considerably. I will repeat that my device is manufacturer specific. It isn't a multifaceted device. The device is made specifically according to manufacturer drivetrain specification. So there's various variations for the many manufacturer models. But I will create according to demand. I will set a new benchmark by creating a brand new market and a steady demand for my device with exponential sales figures. We have cheap to expensive chemical range extenders that are fuel manipulators or fuel thinners. But it's either not that effective or it damages the fuel system reducing engine life. 
With this current chemical-based method of reducing fossil fuel with a measly 1% or 8% at most, mine will be much, much higher. I desperately need to win this green challenge. I need 300,000 euros or 4 million rand to start the production of my prototype. I need a plant with the desired designer-specific machinery needed to mass-produce my invention and create new models and redesign my e-map, making it more desirable making it more lighter and cheaper for customers. With the desired machinery, I will also be able to fund and complete my own electrical self-generating vehicle prototype, complete my more elaborate fossil fuel-free generating uh, energy product. Please view my business proposal and my financial forecast. In my financial forecast, I only predicted the low estimate sales figures. Producing only 600 units per year? I know that is very low, but it's more than achievable. And I still will be having enough funds, repaying any debt and expanding my business globally. Just on this low estimate alone. And only concentrating only on electric vehicles. Specific ones. But my intention is not just work looking at a Nissan Jewel or a Toyota uh, a Prius. Concentrating on those hybrids or anything. I'll be looking at looking at the heavy industry also. I allowed for a very low production projection because I need to create the demand for the, vehicle, the device first. I will first concentrate on electric vehicle and heavy duty fossil fuel vehicles in Cape Town because that, is my that was my market I was in. I know the key players in the transport industry from heavy haulage to uh, bus operators to uh, uh, trucking. I know where to go to. I know where to go to. Let alone Government, getting government contracts for government vehicles, reducing the vehicles, uh, fuel emissions, and making the emergency vehicles even much more faster. So I will first concentrate on Cape Town in South Africa. With an estimate of one to two years, I will sort out any production, manufacturing faults, glitches, and fine comb my teething process. With my desired specific machinery, high production rate is more than possible. I know once the market discovers my device, it will have exponential sales, growth, and unprecedented demand. With my constant updating and upgrading to more versatile designs and cost-effective way of creating energy, I know the EMAP will corner my specific market. I am not limited to geographical boundaries as this device could be made anywhere in the world. So I can set up a plant in any desired country. But this is my device, my invention, a proudly South African device. I want to empower my fellow countrymen first, give my country the leading edge to become a leader in fossil fuel free evolution. I want to create the paradigm shift to not only electrical cars, but a host of other fossil fuel free vehicles I intend producing. My device, an invention, EMAP, does not only reduce fossil fuel, will not only reduce fossil fuel by 50% or 60%, but it will make electrical vehicles so attractive, so efficient, so practical, and so desirable. There will be a mass migration to electrical vehicle that will e reduce vehicle carbon emissions even more in South Africa. And in the world now isn't this type of technology worth funding i would like to thank you for watching this video click like if you enjoyed the presentation and vote for me in the challenge i am yusuf mali from cape town south africa innovator and inventor of the emap fossil fuel reducing device you can visit me on facebook at kfis k-u-i-f-i-e-s hashtag kfis k-u-i-f-i-e-s thank you and have a nice day